Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin if you're new here and today we are going to be rating all of the highlighters that I own. I own 19 highlighters and this process was really hard and also I went decked out with one of my favorite highlighters um, so that's why I'm looking real intense today. Also I think I'm coming down with some kind of cold so I'm sorry if I like sound really congested. I literally can't hear myself right now. So I'm sipping some tea. Uh, I don't have any drama to spell but yo my throat hurts. Anyway, let's jump in. The last video that I did in this series of rating a full category of my makeup uh, was eyeshadow palettes, which I can leave down below. I feel like it's easier to rate eyeshadow palettes than it is highlighters because I feel like a lot of the time highlighters are so similar. In that video and in this video, I have kind of a point system to help guide me decide which are my favorite highlighters. So I have five criteria that I graded each highlighter on. I gave it out of five Points. So total, if a highlighter is completely perfect, it's going to have 25 points. The categories are a flattering tone slash a good color, brightness and buildability, quality, finish, and packaging. Packaging is super important to me. So those are my five criteria. So let's jump into my least favorite highlighter in my collection. With that said, I love all of these highlighters. It's not a bad highlighter or wouldn't be in my collection. Yeah. So coming in in last place, number 19, we have an Essence Highlighter. This is the Pure Nude Highlighter in Be My Highlight. And this was marked down just because it's so subtle. Um, some people love that. I love having this in my collection for variety, um, but I'm definitely someone, hello, look at my face now, I love a nice stark highlight. I love being able to build it. And this I don't really feel like it's very buildable. Also the color doesn't really work super amazing with my skin tone because it is kind of like this tan color. It still shows up on my skin tone. This highlight is maybe too intense, but you know what? It's appropriate for this video, okay? I'm getting all defensive. Anyway, you can see that it's pretty similar to my skin tone, if not a little bit darker than my skin tone. It shows up fine, but it's just really subtle. So that's why it's kind of marked down and the packaging is kind of bulky so I marked it down a little bit for that. So the next highlighter is number 16 and unfortunately I'm surprised it's so low. So I'll kind of explain. This is the e.l.f. Shimmer Highlighting Powder in Rose Glow. I love this formula. I have another shade that is higher on the list, but for some reason, this one in particular, I feel like the texture has changed. So maybe it's time for me to declutter it. I don't know. It must be from being old. I don't know, but the other one's completely fine and performs a lot better. Um, so it was marked down for quality. And also this does have kind of like a pinky tone to it. I don't reach for cool toned highlighters very often. Um, so that's just like personal preference. Like I said, I do have a flattering tone slash color category. Obviously, if your skin color is darker than mine, or if you're just anybody but me, your preferred tone or color of highlight is completely different than mine. So I know that's difficult, but that's makeup. I mean, everybody's different. So um, for me, I did mark cooler toned highlighters lower than more warmer tones or neutral tones. Also, packaging is really bulky. So the next highlighter is also a cool tone. This is from Vanessa's Vanity in Orchid. Orchard. I, I sound like such an idiot because I literally don't know how to say that word. Orchid. 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 That's what it's called. H. Orchid. So next up, we also have another cool tone highlight. This one's very cool tone. This is probably the most cool tone one that I have. This is from Vanessa's Vanity in Orchid. I like a lot about this, but the color honestly marked it down. I just don't reach for it very often. Also, this came in a mystery box, so I didn't like purposely pick it out. Um, so... We're still testing it out, seeing if there's a way we can get it to where we like it a little bit more. Then I have a sample size of the Laura Gellard New York Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator. So again, you're gonna see a common theme. This has cool tone, like purpley um, undertones in it, so it is a lower on the list. But great formula, it is still really beautiful. Again, I just don't reach for it mostly because of the color. So next up on the list, we have a Becca one. So it is one of my most expensive highlighters, but it is lower on the list for a couple of reasons. The Becca highlighters are kind of like a cult favorite. They're really good. The formula is really good. The finish is really good. All of that. I purely don't reach for this because the tone of this highlighter doesn't show up on my skin like I want it to. I feel like I can't build this um, and I almost just feel like the tone and the color 
blend into my skin too too easily and it's like this is such an expensive highlighter I want it to be much more in your face if I want it to like I want the buildability and I feel like I just don't have it with this then we have a really affordable highlighter this is from elf and it is their baked highlight in moonlight pearl uh, this is one of my all-time favorite elf highlighters I just feel like it's so good the quality and the finish isn't maybe the greatest of the greatest but it's still really good um, I feel like it may pick up a little bit more on your texture if you have any there um but i love the tone and the color and you can really build this up to be super super bright so next up we have a highlighter from ulta this is their northern lights highlighter and this is my only liquid highlighter i actually just ended up decluttering a couple of my other ones so this is the only one left it is again a pink tone so i don't reach for it a super ton but I do really like the finish that it gives I love like liquid highlighters um I just think that they add like this glow from within okay so next is actually a eyeshadow technically from elf but I love using it as a highlighter uh, this is their baked eyeshadow in moonlight serenade I love this because it's super unique I don't have a shade like this it has like this really unique yellow undertone and like I don't know how to explain it but it's just so unique and beautiful and I love wearing this I love reaching for this I don't wear it all the time because again for my everyday highlight I just like something pretty neutral on my skin if not maybe a little bit more warm tone um and this is like it's like warm tone but it's like a weird yellow like hopefully the swatches kind of explain what I'm trying to verbally say to you guys okay so the next one is a loose powdered highlight I'm actually going to be doing a indie brand Friday on this brand this is from give me glow cosmetics and this is warm lights loose highlighting powder so I like that the packaging is small but obviously I any loose powder product is really messy so it was marked down a little bit for packaging but again like I feel like that's that's literally just the nature of loose powders I really don't want to say too much about this highlighter other than it's really really beautiful there are a couple things that I don't like about it but I'm gonna save it for that indie brand Friday then we have the elf heart defensor uh, highlighter in coffee and cream so the only thing that kind of confuses me about this is that you have a really stark white highlighter and then kind of like a bronzy highlighter I just don't see how these two colors can work on the same person like I am super super pale um, so maybe more of a medium skin tone can pull off both of these shades uh, but I can definitely only count for this one and I really love it it did get marked down for packaging and obviously this is unusable as far as a highlight for me so that's kind of why it was marked down but y'all I am really struggling right now oh my gosh I feel so weird right now okay focus oh my goodness okay next up we have one of the most intense highlighters okay it is the most intense highlighter in my entire collection now it isn't a palette so I but I only graded it on this particular shade now this shade was super popular for so long I don't know I don't really hear people talking about it anymore but this is from sleek makeup and this is their highlighting palette in um, solstice and it's this gold color right here oh my gosh you guys it is blinding I almost want to put it on top but it I don't think you can handle it the aliens would come to abduct me okay because it'd be shining in their eyes so just take my word for it it's amazing I love this cute little packaging it's really nice it has a nice little mirror in it I feel like it does pick up texture on your face I don't have like that much texture but I definitely have some um, but if you definitely know you have a lot of texture I feel like this would for sure just really really exaggerate it so just keep that in mind after that we have the wet n wild mega glow highlighting powder in precious petals I love the wet n wild highlighters I love how sleek the package is I love their little imprint just like little details like that are super cute and this highlighter formula is so amazing it's so nice it blends out you can build it up um, the only reason why this one's lower on the list it isn't that low it's kind of like in the middle I would say um, is because the color of this one is usually a little too dark for me personally I can get away with it maybe in the summer uh, but I definitely don't ever wear this in the winter okay so the next one is literally only a dollar you guys this is from shop miss a in the brand AOA studio their perfect pressed highlighter in Eris oh my gosh I've raved about this before you guys but again this is definitely the best bang for your buck in my entire video one dollar the quality of this is fantastic I love this highlighter 
it's just honestly a stark white and you, you can make it not super intense or you can really build it up and make it really, really beautiful. So now we have the other one of the e.l.f. Shimmering Highlighting Powder in Pearl Glow. Uh, this one, the formula and the texture is bomb. So I, again, I'm not sure what happened to the rose gold one or was it called rose gold? Where is it? Let me look at you. Rose Glow, sorry. Um, so the texture of this one is just different and I don't know why. It just kind of looks a little bit drier in the pan. So I'm just wondering, it must have got some air, maybe it dried out a little bit, but the texture of this is so buttery and the fit, I don't know how to describe it. It just blends into my cheeks so nicely, leaves a most beautiful finish. It's a great color for pale people. So if you are also a pale princess, you need this one in your life. It's only $6. It's totally worth the money. Next up we have, it's technically a highlighter but it's more of a blush topper. Um, this is from also from Vanessa's Vanity, and this is in Strawberry Bubblegum. It says pressed highlighter, so that's kind of why I'm including it in this video, but I definitely concentrate this more below my highlighter, not directly on top of my, um, I can't even think of what this is called, cheekbone, oh my gosh. More like maybe towards the apples and cheeks and a little bit under I would focus this. This also has really nice like gold reflexes in it. It has a lot of dimension. I freaking love this thing so much. Right after that, we actually have another Vanessa's Vanity highlighter. This is in white gold. Oh, I love this highlighter so much. The quality is beautiful. It's buildable. It has kind of a yellow undertone, but it's super flattering. Oh my gosh, I freaking love this highlighter. I value the space of my collection a lot. And when pans are too large, um, as an eyeshadow, as a blush, as a highlighter, whatever, it kind of irritates me a little bit. Everybody has a different preference, so if you're not like a huge makeup junkie and have like a billion highlighters like I do, um, then it, it might make sense to have a bigger pan. But for me, these are perfect, right on the money. So I gave uh, the packaging for these 5 out of 5. We are getting into my top 3 all-time favorite highlighters. Oh, are you guys ready? Are you ready? Okay, coming in at number three, we have the Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Blossom Glow. But for me, this tone of this one is so beautiful. I feel like it does have a slight, slight pink in there, but it's not overwhelming and it's not too much. I feel like mostly it's just white, but again, it does have that pink, but it's not like obnoxious. You know, it's not like too cool toned. So the last two, you guys, I really don't want to pick one over the other because they're so different. Ah! But if I had to, this is how I would do it. So my number two favorite highlighter is from Vanessa's Vanity. No, it's not. That is not correct. Coming in at number two is actually what I have on my cheeks right now. This is from Tara Moon's Cosmetics in Sea Goddess. As you guys can see, it is Stunning. Every single video that I have worn this highlighter in has one or more comments saying what freaking highlighter is that? But it doesn't have to be this intense if you don't want it to be, but it just, it sits on the skin so, so nicely, especially when you set it with a setting spray. Sometimes, like I did today, I'll set it with a setting spray, let it sit for just a second, and then I'll go over with a second layer just to make it that much more intense. The only thing that I didn't mark this highlighter down is for the enormous pan size. Some people would really appreciate this highlighter and how large it is, but again, for me, I value my space of my collection a lot, so it's just not my preference. Another reason why I love this is that this is actually more of a cool toned highlighter I would say but like it kind of depends on the lighting you're in. Sometimes it just looks like a neutral tone on your skin um, but then like in the sunlight you see all of these reflexes of like purples and like different colors in it and I just think it's done so well. I don't know what she freaking did to me but it's so good you know. I don't know what voice that was but that's how excited I am about this highlighter. Oh my god you guys need it. <laughs> all right you guys are you ready for my all-time favorite highlighter and hopefully I'm not like disappointing anybody by this being my number one because I feel like I'm such a basic hell. Um, but whatever. I bought this uh, face palette forever ago. This is the Jaclyn Hill and Becca collaboration where she did um, two highlighters, Champagne Pop, Prosecco Pop, and then like three blushes. I use the crap out of this thing. I bought this how many years ago? I still use it. Um, Champagne Pop is here. I've made a huge dent in it. Champagne Pop is my number one for many reasons because it has been my favorite for years and years and years and years. The quality of the Becca highlighters is fantastic. It has the quality, the buildability. I love the color. I don't know how she freaking did it, but this freaking color 
is one of the most universally flattering highlighters out there. I am the shade of paper, I can pull it off. Other people with super dark skin tones can pull it off. People with medium skin tones can pull it off. Like, I don't know how she did it. Regardless of what you guys think about her, I truly believe she puts out bomb products that work really, really well. Um, so that is why Champagne Pop is number one because it is just a staple in my collection. If I had to throw out all of my highlighters, if I only got to keep one, it would be Champagne Pop because it's just... It always looks good. So that is it for my ranking all of my highlighters. I hope you guys liked it. Please let me know what is your all-time favorite highlighter. I am addicted to highlighting. Feed my addiction, people. Tell me what's your all-time favorite so I can check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.